Wade and Wade reacts. This is our review for Jack Reacher season two. We're gonna tell you the good, the bad, and the nitpicks. So let's get into the good. This series was action packed. From the first episode all the way up until the last episode. They wasted no time getting you into Reacher's story. They didn't waste any time. And that's one thing I liked about this series. It had a daytime TV show feel. Or not really a daytime TV show feel because these particular types of shows will come on at night. But it had that TV show feel to it. But it didn't drag like TV shows did. Like Castle. Castle was good but in certain parts it dragged. This had that feel. But there was action at every turn. The story was always moving forward. Yeah, I agree with that. This did have a primetime television feel. And I was telling you earlier, when we first finished this season, mm -hmm. I was like, this is like SVU. But if they added The Rock or Vin Diesel. Yeah, that's how it felt. <laughs> or Jason Statham or somebody like that. This was straight up action pack. If you're an action lover, you'll definitely love this show. And if you're a fan of the book, mm -hmm. I think this show satisfied the fans because I know it satisfied me. And if you want to see a big buff dude just whooping people, <laughs> this right here is going to give you what you're looking for. Yeah, yes, indeed. It sure will. And I like the characters. That's one thing I love about the show, mm -hmm. the characters. All the characters that they introduced, they had a role to play in the stories. Yep. And, and uh, in the story, I mean, no one was weak. That's one thing I like about the Usually, they'll, bu they'll buff up in modern times. They'll buff up a female character and they'll make the male character lesser. Or you'll have a character that's incompetent, but you'll have a character... We could be male or female, but they're superior in every way. And you're like, what's the purpose of this side character? In this show, every side character yeah. was powerful. And every character mattered to the plot. And the main character didn't take a backseat to somebody who didn't have the name Reacher. No. So that was great yeah, to see. Yeah, not at all. Reacher was front and center. Uh -huh. So let's get into the bad. I don't really have anything bad to say about this show. Yeah, I think everything I have to say is kind of a nitpick. Yeah. Only bad I probably could say about this show is that it's only eight episodes. Yeah, it should have been longer. Yeah, ten would have <laughs> did this uh, season justice. The court, Before we go to the nitpicks, or the choreography, I want to go back to the good. The choreography was top-notch in this. Yeah, definitely. It was John Wick-esque in certain scenes. Like, okay, I, I could see the inspiration that John Wick is having on modern action movies or yeah. action flicks. I agree with that. So let's get into the nitpicks. Man, they were killing people in public and nobody came looking for Reacher or his team. They had a fight with this group of people on a construction site and they whooped everybody and threw them in some cement and nobody came to investigate to find out what happened. Where did these people go? The families weren't looking for them. The police didn't receive a report. It, it was just outlandish. I was thinking, how are they getting away with this? Man, that's not even the worst thing. Remember they blew up a house? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, 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 just, they just doing stuff. Mm -hmm. That's why I didn't like about this show. They was, um, well, I won't say I didn't like because it didn't, it didn't ruin my enjoyment. It was more uh -huh. of a nitpick. Like, in real life, if they were killing all these people, I think the FBI would be on their yeah, tail. Yeah, definitely. But I know they pro probably banked on the viewers thinking they work for the government, so maybe they got somebody covering up for them. But they would still be looking for these people. There would be a missing persons poster or report on the news. Yeah, or when they came to the construction site, yeah. they would have saw that. Wait a minute. There's some people that's buried under cement. Mm -hmm. And so, then remember the graveyard saying when they were just shooting at them? What were the police? <laughs> like, right. And it was a, they was at, well, I think they were at a police officer's funeral. I, no, 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 they weren't. It was at another military guy's funeral because they did a 21 gun salute. Man, another nitpick is Reacher beat up a police officer in the earlier episodes that he thought was part of the people that were against them. He beat this guy up. And I thought to myself, this guy was going to get a rematch with Reacher because that's what he wanted. But instead of him getting a rematch with Reacher, he was killed and never got a chance to redeem himself. I, I, would, I knew he would have gotten whooped, but I would have at least liked to have seen that, that fight one more time. Yeah, and for the book fans, tell us down in the comments, is, are the books that outlandish? Because remember at the end, remember he jumped on the helicopter? 
in the helicopter. Yeah. I'm like, man, come on. And that's not even the, the only thing. He was like, somebody was going to file the helicopter. He, he was holding, holding it with one arm. And a knife in it. Yeah, he, then he switched to the injured arm that had a knife stuck in his forearm. It's like, man, he would have had nerve damage, all types of things would have been wrong with that arm. Yeah, I was like, man, this show is straight. It's a straight up 80s and then, action movie. And then the villain started stomping him. He, st he still held on to the person that was hanging out in the back of a helicopter. Yeah, this, this show is just straight up over the top. I think that's a plus if you like that. Oh, yeah. Because that's the best way I can describe the show. It's like SVU, you add the Rock, Vin Diesel, Keanu Reeves, maybe Jason Statham, and then you have Reacher. That's all this is. And then Reacher as a character. I think he's morally great. He's not even a good yeah, guy. Is, some of the stuff he was doing in this show is questionable. He wasn't sparing nobody. Uh, Those people saying, I just work for them. He didn't care. He killed them anyway. You shouldn't be working for them. And wait till you see how they <laughs> killed him. I'm like, man. You at the wrong job. Bow. <laughs> Should have been working at Walmart. <laughs> yeah, if I got to fight Jack Reacher, I want to get to a shootout with him. I don't want to go hand in hand. Nah, he's too, too big, too strong, and too skilled. Yeah. And uh, this ain't even got nothing to do with the review, but... The guy that plays Jack Reach, I think his name is Alan. I forget his last name. He needs to be Batman. He needs to be next up. DC, James Gunn, please let this dude be Batman. Yeah, man. I'm tired of all these people that ain't got no muscles playing Batman. Put somebody that's big for real in the costume. <laughs> so for a scale to uh, whack the masterpiece, where does the show rank? I would say for a TV series, or not a TV series, but a streaming series, I would say this was a great show, especially for those who enjoy action and you want tv shows like this if you're a fan to be as fast paced as possible you don't want the the directors and the writers to waste any time with fluff and things of that nature this right here is a great watch yeah i agree with everything that you said but i'm gonna have to go a little bit lower i'm not gonna go with great but i'm gonna go with good and that's how i'm gonna call it so hey that's been our review don't forget to like comment subscribe Hit the notification bell and share this video. And we'll see you on the next one. And we're out of here. Peace.